Dog, Part 2. Be me, still retarded. Damn! I don't go to school no more. I married my teacher lady, and she has a baby in her tummy. We walk through the park. She paints pictures of birds, and I chase butterflies with a big-ass net. Run, run, run as fast as you can, gaybos. I'm gonna fucking eat you. A nearby landscaper shakes his fist at me, but I ignore him. My big booty wife laughs and starts painting me chasing these bitch butterflies. Life is good, dot AVI. Out of nowhere, her ex-husband shows up. He's a large 30-year-old Chad with biceps that double his thighs. He wore a confederate flag hat and a wife-beater shirt. He also sported a redneck southern accent. They need to build a wall to keep all you fucking tards away from our wives. Apparently, he divorced her after getting pregnant from a tard. You're getting that parasite aborted and coming with me. He grabs her arm and pulls. No one touches my tendy queen. No one. Yay! You touched the one who taught me math! Now your ass shall feel my wrath! I headbutt him and bend him over the bench. I then break my butterfly net and shove the sharp end up the cave of mystery. I steal the landscaper's hammer and use it to pound the pole further into the shit-kicking hillbilly. He lets out a high-pitched shriek that hits decibels unknown to man. I grab my milfy tendy queen and carry her over my shoulder. She then reminisces of the first time I carried her. Good times, dot MOV. It's pretty obvious why she picked me over him. Picks for reference. Chapter 1, Act 2. High School? Be me, in high school, walking with Aspie friends outside the school. Take advanced computer classes before normie classes. Talking to a friend who's chill until he has occasional spouts of anger. We'll call him Hulk, because he'd call his angry fits Hulk outs. Hulk smash dot PNG. We then see an army of potatoes. My god, what have they done? The school was split between regular kids and the DIR kids. There were at least 200 tards in the group. Wheelchair kids, potatoes, gigatards, and a few midget tardlings. It's a fucking zoo. But there was something strange about these tards. They were very calm and polite. One of them even greeted me. He looked clean and well-groomed. When he shook my hand, there was no sticky shit. All of my what, dot JPEG. I hear a mighty confident yell. Not one of a regular teacher or wrangled, no. It was one of a tard. Alright, boys and girls, time for school. My face when I find out, he was a retarded tard wrangler. And not only a wrangler tard, he was the alpha tard of this school. I'll call him Papa Tard. You'll find out why later. We all rushed into the school. Tards went to their side and we went to ours. Apparently the Tards come from around the country because this school's record of being peaceful. No rampage in over ten year- TEN YEARS! But why, dot MP4? Classes go by as normal, and the Hulk even showed this one kid how to use Tor. He's important for later. I'll call him Darth Plagius the Wise for his knowledge of Tards. Me, Plagius, and Hulk are bullshitting together as we walk to our normie classes. All was well until we saw it. Tarzan and the Tardinator together, with a small circle of lumpy-ass Tards. Bastards are planning something, dot exe. Me, being curious, asks Plagius about the Tards. Apparently, Papa Tard married his pregnant teacher after graduation. He became Wrangler and Alpha Tard after a huge Tard war that threatened the lives of his fellow Tards. Miraculously, his child was born with a normal amount of chromosomes and no downs. I give Plagius a look of doubt and proceed to my next class. I then bump into a short downy kid. He says, Sorry, man. Just sad because best friend Pill not here. I was about to get mad, but Play just told me it's not worth angering this one. Chapter 2, Act 2. Officer or Destroyer? Be me. Be three days into high school. 
Walk in the hall, still feeling unsure about sharing half of the massive school with tards. I see Hulk and Plagius at the snack machines, laughing. I go over to investigate. One of the new tards from middle school is pissed at the machine. Apparently it thinks snack machines accept belly button lint. Give me snicks, you stupid fucking bitch! It lifts the fucking machine. But right as shit was about to get wrecked, I hear a tard making police siren noise. Rear, 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 rear. A potato downy on a police tricycle comes rolling down the hall. He's wearing full police gear, minus a gun and taser. He even has a badge that says, Special Officer Timmy. The rabid tard drops the machine, and then squares up to Timmy. Oh shit dot rar. He lets out a rabid yowl and charges. Timmy takes a log from the back of the trike and hits him with the force of a supernova. My face when Timmy KOs this tard, so hard, its pants fill with shit, cum, and piss at the same time. Chapter 2, Act 3, Return of Tarzan. Be me for the sixth time. Be two weeks into high school. I have not seen Tardinator since the first day. Every time I saw Tarzan, she'd growl at me. She'd then hurry away like she had somewhere to be. What has happened to these Tards? I then decide to growl back at Tardzan. Big mistake. She picks me up and tosses me into the lockers. I struggle to get back up as she starts bashing my head into the metallic lockers. Tarzan pulls down her pants and puts her gorilla tater tot cheeks against my helpless body. Before she could unleash a shitstorm, I hear a loud, downy scream. Fuck you, Gloria! That kid Ahmed comes running down the hall and pummels Tarzan. Now you big buffalo wings! Ahmed was moved here after an incident with the police and some buffalo wings. Ahmed and another tard named Timmy come in and subdue the ape tard. Papa Tard then orders them to carry her to the tard side of the school. My face when I find out the tards are their own wranglers in this school. Chapter 2, Act 4, World War D. Be me, a month into ninth grade. Classes are rough and I barely hang on to solid C's. I have no time for schoolwork. Me and Plagius have happy wheels to play in class. We hear scuffles in the ceiling air shaft and a faint retarded groan. Tarzan? Twenty minutes later, the room fills with a strong shit smell. I look outside and see Tardinator staring directly at me. He has a look of pure, unbridled fury. Then flashes a creepy grin that can barely be seen through his mask. What in the actual fuck? An alarm sounds. School under lockdown. I repeat, school under lockdown. I hear a large, rapt hard roar. As hundreds of tards join in, I feel an ocean of fear wash over me. I'm going to die. Plagius yells, Get down! As the classroom door flies off its hinges and into the classroom, seven naked tardlings crawl in with primal rage and full hard-ons. They're then followed by a deformed gigatard who's still recovering from being a living battering ram. The Tardlings gang up on a quiet Asian girl, easily 9 out of 10 and carry her off. Gigatard headbutts the teacher and leaves him bloody on the floor. As we all run out in terror, he takes a shit in the unconscious teacher's mouth. Num num, you eat your foodie duty head! As I run to the emergency exit, I find that all the doors are locked. The police thought that there was a hostage situation. No one in, no one out. God has abandoned us. I see Plagius and Hulk down the hall, cornered by two Tard twins. My foot! Out! Vote! Before they fuck their brains out, a small log was thrown and knocked them out. A group of familiar Tards approaches us. They're led by Papa Tard. I ask him what's going on. Neither war, and we in Big Doodoo -doo this time. <laughs> 